DePaul, DePaul University Nature Park. It's basically just an old quarry. And so far, there are no trails. You're just hiking along the road. Super interesting. Lots of wildlife out so far. Should be a fun morning. interesting place like down in the quarry right now I'm hoping to get up on the ridge over there and look down into it this is definitely one of the times where the all trails app helped because this is my first time here and I was looking for a trailhead not an actual like old gravel road I downloaded the map prior to getting here um, as a precaution, like I got service. Wouldn't have been an issue, but just in case, precaution. So Wall Trail says that this loop that I'm doing, it's the first map you can download. Um, so it's just shy of four miles, so I think we're making good time. The weather is textbook. Cannot get better weather than this right now. There is so much texture here. So if you like the take photos of rocks and textured stuff like heavily textured photographs this is the place there's just so much going on it's so busy definitely not liking these gravel roads though Pretty sure it's mating season for frogs. They're so loud. Looks like we're finally coming up around the ridge, going around over here to the lookouts over there, which should be awesome. But we were just down in there, and we just came all the way around. Making good time so far. So I'm actually skipping the woodland trails. It's more of an extension because I want to do the rim, uh, the rim trail. That sounds so bad. But I wanted to get these views here. So skipping the woodland trail today. That is the closest I've ever been to a turkey vulture. And honestly, I did not know they were that big. Holy crap. They had babies, so I decided to back off. Um, when I came up a little bit, I seen them sitting there, and I was like, oh. that's when you know to back off and live to hike another day. <laughs>
was expecting a massive like incline since you know we were down there um, but it was a very short burst up and then it's just been a steady steady incline you don't even know where you're going up however if I ever come back I will be starting on the opposite side <laughs> and coming the way I'm going now and going back that way was wondering why so many people were running towards me and nobody was running with me. And to be honest, I thought there'd be more people out here. It's gonna be a 60 degree day. So not that this is giving anybody else the okay, but I didn't know if I should take my drone out or not. I seen a, uh, a uh, I think a, like a worker, like someone who worked here, driving by, and I asked him. He ended up being the owner's dad or grandpa. I can't remember what he said. I asked if I could uh, fly drones around here. He said, "I don't see a problem with it. Just don't be stupid." You know. With that being said, I didn't get as many drone shots as I wanted to, mainly because. Uh, turkey vultures are flying everywhere, so didn't want to hit one <laughs> or lose my drone. This place is awesome for taking pictures, lots of textures. However, for hiking, my feet are killing me because of this gravel road all the way around, so my only dilemma on it I also didn't do the woodlands um, extension so I actually I actually got out of here just shy of three miles so I thought it was gonna be four ended up being three thank you so much for watching the video if you're planning a trip to DePaul Definitely download the All Trails app. It'll be way easier uh, to navigate around. To clarify on the drone issue, um, he said he was never asked that question before, so he wasn't 100% sure, but at the time he did give me permission to fly my drone um, as long as you know, you don't act stupid, not getting in people's faces and stuff like that. But if you check out the park, definitely ask for permission if you're wanting to fly your drone around. If you decide to visit, wear comfy shoes because the gravel will tear your feet up. Mine were killing me by the time I got back to the car. And again, thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing. And as always guys, I'll see you in the next one.